Hey there, I'm Mr. Cat or Misty, and today we're gonna learn how to build an item sorter in Minecraft. So we're gonna start, uh, personally, I'm just gonna build this in the sky, just so it's easier for you guys to see, but build this wherever you want your stuff to be. We're gonna place a dispenser along with an X shape like this of whatever block you're using. And then along the back, we're gonna connect it like this. We're gonna place redstone dust here, here, and here. We're going to have a comparator point out of the dispenser, push the signal through these redstones into this block, pull it out with a repeater, and push it back into the comparator. And then what this does is you can either put your items directly into this dispenser, you can uh, place the bunch of hoppers up to wherever you want it to be, you can just place one, or you just put everything in a chest. So now if I were to place, say, a stack of emeralds in this chest, it slowly spits everything out to me. However, this seems a little fast, so let's slow this down to about three. Three is what works best for me. Now we're gonna build the water system for transporting items. Our water is going to be here, so we want this to be covered in uh, glass, or whatever you're using. Glass looks the best, so you can see the items flowing through. And then the water has one source and travels seven blocks. So if I bring this out in eight in total, you'll see that if I place water, it will stop right there. However, 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 I say that word a lot. Uh, if you want this to keep going for a long distance or maybe turn around a corner or something, uh, you'll need to place ice with a pressure plate, some glass there, and then do eight more blocks. There's eight, there's eight, and there's eight. And if I place a water bucket, you'll see it ends up right there. But it's highly unlikely you're gonna have a sorting section for every single item in the game. So you're gonna want an extras chest. So if we come down here and we just do something like this, and then we place a chest under the stone block with a hopper on top, and then maybe just a back wall to be safe. You probably don't need this, but just in case the items go really fast, uh, you don't want them to like fly out of the machine. So now if anything doesn't get sorted, it will go straight into this chest down here. So let's start with the sorting. Uh, I'm only gonna do four, but you can do this as much as you want. Uh, you can't do it on the ice block, but you can do seven every section if you keep this going. So we're going to place a chest under each of these. I'm going to make it a double chest because if, 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 you, if you're sorting everything into single chests, it's probably not worth your time to make a sorting system. Next, I'm going to place hoppers pointing to each of the chests and then another one on top of them pointing into these placeholder blocks. I use stone because I like stone, why not? So now on the back, we're going to come out three blocks from each of these bottom hoppers. Then you wanna come down two blocks on the edge and go out like that. And then you wanna have one more on the inside to kinda of have a backwards J shape or from this side, technically a J shape. You wanna place repeaters on each of these with blocks behind them. And then to make this easier, I'm gonna get rid of the water for a second, but uh, we're going to place comparators pulling out of each of these hoppers, and they will point into a bunch of redstone dust that just covers the top of all these blocks. And then we're gonna put our glass back and our water. All right, so now on the bottom, we're going to have redstone torches pointing into these blocks right here against the hoppers. And now all this does, so let me get to the other side, you can see it better is whenever these hoppers have things in them, uh, these comparators loop the signal around and point it into these hoppers. That's all it does, it's just a big circle. So now let's tell it what to sort. You wanna get a bunch of like completely random blocks you're not gonna sort. Uh, however, if you wanna play it safe, you can use an anvil and name them. You don't have to, but if you're actually using every single item in the game, you're gonna have to name something. And then we're gonna come over here. We're just gonna fill these back four slots of each hopper only on the top row. And then we'll place a stack of emeralds in this one, gold in this one, iron in this one, and diamonds in this one. And you'll see they'll stop at 41. If they stop at 41, that means you're doing this correctly. So the rest are in here. There should be 22 in each chest. Yep, they've all caught up. And now you'll see if I take these out of each of these chests. Let's throw in these, stack of stone, and these. Oh, this might be a little fast. We're actually gonna put a little retaining wall right here just to make sure they don't fly out. And then everything should get sorted. I'll let this run for a second. 
All right, but what if you wanted to store a lot more than just one double chest? Well, I have these hooked up with apples, gapples, god apples, and poisonous potatoes, and we're going to extend them. So what we're going to do is we're going to place uh, whoops, a double chest like this. Let me do it to each of them real quick. And then we're going to place hoppers pointing into each of them. So now you see everything's moving down. And then you go over here, and you do it again. And you can keep this going as long as you want. So now all that's left to do is make all the farms I have on my channel, link them up with water streams, and put them all into a sorting system. If you found this video helpful, a like, comment, and subscription would all be very much appreciated, as YouTube tells people that only good videos have that stuff happen to them. So yeah, if you want to help out the channel, please do those. I appreciate it, and thanks for watching.